After winning his first match at the AW Finals, Novak Djokovic has secured the year-end number one for a record eighth time, breaking his own record of seven from last year. It's been a crazy ride at the top as well because Alcaraz has obviously taken the world number one here and there, and Djokovic has taken it back at the very end. Let's go have a look at the point situation. So with that win against Runa today, Djokovic cannot be overtaken at the top of the leaderboard because... Alcaraz, even if he wins all these matches at this event, can only make 1,500 points. And Djokovic is now ahead by more than 1,500 points. So Djokovic could retire the tournament and still be year-end number one. He's not going to do that, of course. But Djokovic, with that one win, wraps it up for another year. So there you have it. Novak Djokovic, year-end number one for another record, breaking his own record, eighth time, and keeping Alcaraz back. And it's been such a fun ride at the top. I know Djokovic, of course... Didn't get to stay at the top for long because of the not being able to play in America and also the point situation at Wimbledon. Lost a lot of points there last year. So there were some funky reasons why Djokovic wasn't number one for longer this year. But it was so much fun having Alcaraz and Djokovic battle for world number one. Do you think Alcaraz can get to number one next year, though? That is the question because we know Djokovic has a lot of points to defend in Australia, at the French, and then Wimbledon, of course, coming up as well in the middle of the year. Can Alcaraz regain number one sometime next year? Or do you think Djokovic is just going to hold on to it? And of course, getting to 400 weeks after this tournament too. That's going to be guaranteed. We'll talk about that in a week or so. But Novak Djokovic, record eighth time at year-end number one as he wraps it up today.